when you're feeling tight and achy in your hips and your psoas muscles, this couch stretch is going to be some really fun work for you. Your psoas muscles and your hip flexors love to move in a variety of ways. And sometimes you don't want to get up. <laughs> So this is where the couch comes in. I'm Brie Johnson of Heart and Bones Yoga and Heart and Bones is here for you to learn all sorts of fun and functional and supportive ways to move with love in your body. Let's grab a couch and do this fabulous psoas stretch and release. Now you can also do this on a bed. You can do this with a yoga bolster or block, but the couch is kind of nice because we all have one and sometimes you don't want to get up off that couch, but you get to still stretch and have fun. So what you're gonna do is going onto your couch, you can use a pillow for support underneath your head, and you wanna have one foot up on the couch and the other leg on the floor so that we're creating a little bit of hip extension here. Now, if you want a little bit more hip extension, one thing that you can do is grab a pillow and then lift it underneath the hips to lift your hips up even higher. So we're all different lengths, <laughs> we all are different heights, and our couches are going to be different. So each of us might want to find, oh, maybe I enjoy a little bit more of a lift like this. For me, this actually feels really great and I'm going to keep it like this. Now, once you've settled here and you have your one foot out onto the ground, I like to first move it out to the side a bit. So this is sort of like a lying down lunge, but what's nice about this is by bringing our leg out away from the couch a bit, it gets us out of what's called the sagittal plane. And this is a position that many of us and many of our psoas muscles and hip flexors live in. So the moment we can start to put the foot out of the sagittal plane, going out to the side, we're already getting benefits. So you might find even placing your foot there out to the side, out to the side to whatever degree feels good for you, you might already start to feel a little bit of a nice stretchy feeling or a nice little release feeling. So you can stay there for a moment. And then you can start to wiggle the knee from side to side or move your leg from side to side. So we're gonna start with a little bit of internal, external rotation-ish, or in this case, it's a little bit more of a lateral side to side movement. So again, it's a movement that's getting us out of that sagittal plane. And for me to get into this movement a little bit more, I'm bringing my foot up off the ground and keeping my heel down. And then that's just gonna allow a little bit more of the movement deep into my hip joint. So you do this a few times. So I'm gonna go through this a little bit faster just because this is more of a tutorial, move and learn rather than a full class. So I'm teaching you the movements so that you can do them on your own. So once you've done that a few times, this is lovely to get a little bit more of a stretch, more hip extension. I'm gonna bring my leg a little bit closer towards the couch and towards my body. So it's instead of the foot away from me, I'm now gonna bring the foot a little bit closer and you might find right away, oh, hello, into your hip flexors, into your quadricep muscles, your thighs. And then this might be a really nice place to stay. Now to get more out of this one, I like to make sure that I'm working. It's not just passive lying down here. I'm gently squeezing my glute a bit, not like tightening it up, but squeezing my butt muscle just a little bit. I'm gently pressing my foot into the floor. The whole foot doesn't have to be on the ground. I have to, the, the balls of my foot on the ground. And I'm gently at the same time lengthening my thigh forward. So there's a gentle squeeze of the glute, gentle lengthening of your thigh, and a gentle pressing down of the foot. These three actions are going to enhance the work that we're doing here. So this alone, you might get a nice, lovely stretch. And then you can also add a little bit of that moving out to the side, moving inwards. But if you're holding the work of the glute, the leg lengthening forward and the foot pressing down, you're gonna notice you can't move your thigh out to the side quite as much. You're, the movement's a lot more limited and that's okay. It's limited, but it means it's more focused into your sticky spots, into the hip flexor and psoas muscle area. 
So this is a little bit of a more active stretch because again, you're gently engaging that glute, lengthening your thigh and pressing down through the foot. Okay, so you would do that a few times like that. That can feel great. It might feel nice to then let your leg extend out and have a more passive release feeling after doing that more active movement. All right, now again, here, this is where you're gonna feel, find that place where you're not falling off so much. So if you wanna counter work that and grab a part of the couch to hold you, now we can just let the leg be extended out and have that little bit of a swing feeling here. So swinging the leg, my foot's not even touching the ground actually here. And I'm just doing a gentle swing. I'm not like swinging my leg all the way out to the side. It's just another little side to side movement here. But I'm thinking about lengthening my leg away from my pelvis as I swing while gently grounding my opposite foot into the couch. So there's some stability work going on here. And again, that counter help of grabbing the back of the couch so I'm not just falling over to the side. So you would do that a few times, maybe a minute or so, again, whatever feels good for you. And then the last thing that we're gonna do in this lovely couch stretch is to add some upper body rotation because your psoas muscles aren't just a hip flexors, your psoas muscles connect to the upper uh, lumbar, like your lower back lumbar area up in towards your diaphragm even. So here you're going to lift your shoulders and move them towards the inside of your couch while your leg moves away from you to the outside of the couch. This is gonna be different for each of us. Maybe you wanna have your foot more out to the side, more in, more length. You'll know what feels good once you start to get that stretchy feeling. Because at the same time, you're gonna gently press your foot down into the floor. You're gonna get that little glute to sort of push your pelvis up towards the ceiling. That side of the pelvis wants to lift up. All right, so you use your butt muscle to lift that and almost tilt that and twist that left side or that side of your pelvis that's extended. And then you can bring your arm, it's all on the same side, same leg, same arm. And then you can reach, rotate, and then open. So I'm keeping my foot active, I'm keeping my leg active, this feeling of lengthening across the front of my hip flexors. And then that side arm is going to reach and rotate, bringing along my upper back. So I'm gonna rotate, keep rooting my foot down, keep that lift and length in the pelvis, and, but I'm rotating away from my leg and down. All right, so hopefully that all makes sense here. Hopefully it feels lovely in your body. There, and one more time. You're rooting the foot down, lengthening, and then reaching and rotating away. So good. Okay, now the last thing that you can do here is now that you've got an idea of what to do is to listen to your body and do something that feels really good. So if you liked that upper body work, maybe you wanna make more of a rotation. So you're gonna bring your torso back and then you can reach and rotate even more using, as I'm doing here, the edge side of the couch. Oh, that sounds like a big stretchy feeling, however that works. And then what the best thing about all of this is once you've done this work, then I recommend bringing your pelvis into a more neutral position by placing both of your feet onto your couch and then noticing how one side feels compared to the other. You'll probably notice that one side feels a little bit more light, a little bit more spacious. So of course, you're going to do it on the other side. <laughs> Uh, again, you can use a yoga block or bolster if you don't want to use the couch or if you find that your couch is too soft. If you have a really, really squishy couch, you might find that your lower back doesn't love this. So if you're feeling that, if you just did all of this and you're like, oh, my lower back's not happy, then I recommend going onto the floor taking a yoga block or a bolster and doing all the same work, but just lifting your hips up onto that so that you're lifted up in the same way and your leg is extending out. And don't forget to check out all of the other psoas videos that I have. I have a whole bunch of really helpful psoas stretches, releases for you. Just look for them on the channel here. If you like this, let me know in the comments. Share, save, and of course, subscribe and all that fun stuff. Happy psoas to you.